Hello, and welcome back to the Rose Garden. Today I'm going to do a My Favorite Things Disney movies, which I thought picking out manga was hard. Uh, Disney movies was apparently harder. So these are six movies that I pulled my husband and his friend, and then I added one or two to see uh, which ones were my favorite, even though, yeah, I could watch them all and it doesn't matter. <laughs> also, new location because I have my little selfie stick tripod thing. So hopefully this is cool. You can get to see my pillows, Superman, and they're still Christmas themed. Ignore that. But I don't think the lighting is too bad here. I'll experiment around the house, but anywho, onto the list. Um, one of the ones that was mentioned was Lilo and Stitch, and I do love this. Um, I don't even really know, like, what to say about it other than it's adorable, but it's also got a very good story. Um, for those who don't know, it's about an alien that crash lands in Hawaii and hangs out with a little girl who then, you know, they're chased by more aliens and police. And I really enjoy it. And everyone knows the line, Ohana. Ohana means family, and family means no one gets left behind. And I really love the sentiment behind that. Um, I even watched the sequels. I watched the TV series. I loved Stitch so much. But, uh, yeah. My husband felt that was on my top list. Another one he mentioned, and I do agree with, is uh, Robin Hood. Now, I love this story of Robin Hood, even though it is obviously Disneyfied and childlike. Um, it's just adorable, and it's filled with good music, and I don't know, I really enjoy it. Having Maid Marian and Robin Hood be foxes, and her lady-in-waiting being a freaking huge chicken, Little John is a bear, uh, Prince... John and King Richard are lions, uh, and John's assistant is a snake, and it's all very fitting, since when you think royalty, you think lions, when you think thieves, you tend to think foxes, and I like that, uh, and the music's really good, like, I love watching this just to hear the music, and even my husband knows the music, so that's awesome. And my brother loves it, so I get to watch it. Um, let's see. One that they did not mention, but I put on the list because why wouldn't I, was Beauty and the Beast. Now, I have not seen the live action version yet, and I will eventually see that, don't worry. But I love this. Uh, this version comes with the extra song, but I don't watch it with that because I don't particularly like it. And I bought this copy from Target, and it has a uh, story book, which I really like. It's cute. Um, and as my husband said in, the, in another video, because it's Disney, the Blu-ray is so very plain. But I don't think the Disney... Yeah. Oh, the Disney, or the DVD is not any better. But I do love the story. Uh, you know, beauty is not what's on the outside. And I know a lot of people are critics of it, about people needing to change or whatever. But she got over her fear, and he got over his, I would say, probably fear of getting close to someone. Because he didn't want to get hurt. So, uh... I enjoy it, and I know that the original story had some other stuff going on, but it's not too, too different. Um, yeah. I will watch the live action eventually, and then maybe I'll talk about it, but I will say that I love this. This is awesome. Uh, another one that I don't think my husband or his friend put on the list, but I added, because I had to, was Aladdin. Like, how could I not have this on there? It is an amazing movie. My friends and I as kids used to try and act it out. The same with Lion King. 
And I don't know, I always loved the idea that you could raise yourself beyond what you are. Which I'm sure there were other lessons in there, but that's pretty much the one I took, was that it doesn't matter who you are, you can do whatever you want. He saved a kingdom. I know he had a genie to help, but I don't know. Now, in second place for uh, what my husband and his friend thought should be on this list, Sleeping Beauty, which I agree wholeheartedly. It is, it is amazing. I loved it as a kid. I love it as an adult. It's a bit cliched with the damsel in distress, but at the same time, you have Maleficent, who is one of the greatest villains ever. And I love her and Prince Philip and his willingness to go through all this hell. I know the, the actual story is completely different and it's much more depressing. But I, I love this version just because you have this this lover who is willing to go through fire, literally, and briar to get to her. So, I don't know. Also, the fairies are awesome. Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether turning arrows into bubbles and flowers and it giving him a blessed or magical sword to kill Maleficent. So that's pretty cool. And I remember in school, I was the only person that could remember Sleeping Beauty's actual name. Because <laughs> everyone's like, eh, her name's Sleeping Beauty. It's like, no, her name's Aurora. You could also call her Briar Rose. So, it, uh, it's around where it all began for my downward spiral into a uh, nerdy oblivion. And the movie that topped both my husband's and my our friend's uh, list of my favorite Disney movie, if no one could figure it out there. Little Mermaid. <laughs> I have been obsessed with it since the moment I watched it, way back in the day. Which I had to argue with my mom. She thought Little Mermaid was my first Disney movie. But it was Lady and the Tramp. Because this came out in, what, 89? So I wouldn't have seen it until we were stateside. And I think I watched L Lady and the Tramp in Guam. So, but this is my favorite movie. If you couldn't tell by the number of shirts, I have figurines, the autograph, uh, everything. I have a comforter and a sheet set for the couch bed that are Little Mermaid. I had a wallet and a purse. I know. When I get attached to something, I go, I go all in. <laughs> but that's okay. I really love it just because it's beautiful. The music is amazing. The actors that they got were amazing. And I know the story is nowhere near what it, the, the original story was, and I don't care because it's, you know, it's not supposed to be. It's an adaptation, which means they change it, and I don't know. I'm sure there are people who disagree with me, and that's fine. That's the way it is. But uh, I enjoy it, and I always wanted to be Ariel. I think I even had a... Uh, I had an aerial toy that could go in the water. She was like a Barbie that you could put the uh, flipper on. And I had a Prince Eric, too. Um, I'm trying to remember. I don't know if I was ever Ariel for Halloween. I know I was Snow White, and I know I was Jasmine. But I don't think I was ever Ariel. I know every year for Halloween, I'm like, I'm going to get a purple shirt and green pants, and I'm going to pretend to be Ariel. And then I never do it. I don't know why. I should one year. I was joking that I was going to dye my hair uh, a nice bright red this year. Which, it looks like my bangs are fading out. But, oh well. Um, I had a point. <laughs> um, the only thing I don't like about these new Disney Blu-rays is they have, uh... So, what was, yeah, I think it's, I'm sure there are others, but, ooh, that didn't focus. Anywho, down here, they have 
pop stars redoing the songs. So they have Carly Rae Jepsen doing Part of Your World, or they had, is it Selena Gomez who did Cruella de Vil? I, I'm not a fan of those, but, you know, whatever. It's a, it, it, I know that these new additions are more geared towards, like, the nun younger generations, but as far as the stories, I feel like these still hold up, and I love them, and yeah, I think that's that. <laughs> I didn't plan this out or anything, so... Mm, is there anything else I want to ramble about? Jim's got disabled in Pokemon. I used to get an hourly Pokemon in my house for like the past nine months, and that's gone now, so I'm sad. I don't know what I'm going to do in winter when I can't get out of my house. Hopefully it comes back. I hope. But, uh... <sighs> that's it. Um, I hope you liked my favorite things Disney. Uh, there are obviously more. I could have added Mulan. I could have added Cinderella. I, uh, I, there's, I could have had them all. These were just a pulled sampling. So, um, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.